Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Whenever you come across today's video, and as you can see, we are going to be looking at messages from spirit. Okay loves, so yeah, um, I just felt called to do this, okay? I am going to be posting a love reading. I know you guys love the love reading, so that is going to be coming up in a couple of days, okay? But for some reason, I got called to do messages from spirit first. So yeah, loves, and um, let me know how you guys are doing down below, okay? For the question of the day, uh, I was just wondering how the new moon is affecting you guys, and yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. I know a lot of you guys um, were going through some anxiety, okay, because that's what I've been hearing, but let me know how you guys are doing, loves, and yeah, hopefully something um, in the pile that you're attracted to here. Uh, hopefully there's a message for you okay loves so yeah let's see so we have three beautiful piles in front of us here today we have pile one pile two and pile three for pile one we have the beautiful green aventurine crystal okay this is going to be our pile one for pile two we have this beautiful peachy um, i believe this is citrine okay uh, we're, we're just going to call it the peach, the peachy citrine crystal. All right, so this is going to be our beautiful pile two. And for our pile three, we have the tiger's eye. So this is going to be our pile three. And I will give you guys a few seconds um, to pick your pile or piles if you guys absolutely feel called to more than one. Okay. And with that being said, loves, I'm going to go ahead and start with pile one, but if you need more time, please feel free to pause the video. Hey, pile one for you guys that chose the green aventurine. Let's go ahead and see what is it that spirit is wanting to tell you at this time. Okay, Les. So let's see what we got. We have the two of swords. We have the nine of wands. We have the wheel of fortune. And we have the eight of pentacles. All right. And I will fix the camera in just a bit. We have healing chaos, patience and planning, and then we have hearing messages from spirit. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and um, there we go. <laughs> so let's see, love. So what is it that, what is a message from spirit? Okay. Okay, pile one. This is very beautiful, all right? So, yeah, okay. So, pile one, I'm seeing here that what, like, the message that Spirit has for you. One of the biggest messages here is to keep going, okay? It could be that at this time, I, I'm seeing my pile one maybe go through some obstacles, or maybe, um... I'm just saying that at this time, you could be feeling really tired. It, you could also be feeling like you're not sure what to do or that there's not much that you can do. I'm just getting like all these different messages, pile one, okay, about me being you feeling like a little bit down, like you like that, like this energy where you just can't do anything about what's going on. Okay. But the message from spirit here for you guys, pile one is there's actually a lot that's happening behind the scenes. Okay. With the wheel here, it's like spirit is letting you know that this, the wheel of fortune is, is spinning for you. It's turning for you, pile one. All right. Like you are moving towards your destiny, but it could be that you're not seeing it. Okay, now I'm already getting like a message here from Spirit that they just want you to keep focusing on your work. Okay, whatever it is that you are working on. Um, 
for some of you guys, this could be studies. For some of you guys, this could be inner work. For some of you guys, this could be, like, this could be all sorts of stuff. Okay, hobbies even. Okay, pile one. But at this time, they're wanting you to focus on that. Yeah, I am seeing that pile one, okay? They're letting you know that, like, you're everything is happening according to plan, okay? You might feel like it's not, you might even feel like you can't take it anymore, okay? Um, Because yeah, when we see this card here in the Nine of Wands, this guy is like, he feels like he can't take another step, right? Like maybe he needs to rest or something. And I am getting that you guys could, can very well be in that energy. Like you feel like you can't keep going. It's getting too tiring. Pio one, just know, okay, that something is coming your way. Now, a second message that I'm getting here, okay, is that what's happening, like spirit is wanting to let you know, okay, yeah, there is something in this pile because the candle just went off. So give me one second, loves. I'll just take, okay, loves, I'm back. <laughs> um, Yeah, that was a new candle too. Um, It's the same candle, but uh, it was burning like at a very low burn okay at a very low flame and then it just went out so i do feel like you guys could be feeling that type of energy like you're just running on low okay or you just maybe feel like you again you can't take it anymore for some of you guys okay but spirit is saying okay that i don't know there's this message that you don't need to be afraid okay maybe some of you guys are even feeling a little bit of fear okay you don't need to be scared pile one i'm seeing that very strongly like there's even a message here that you don't need to be confused because your intuition is seen clearly okay um and just remind yourselves pile one that intuition is not fear okay um yeah, I am getting that message here. Now, I'm also getting for some of you guys that if there is something that you're wanting to focus on or study on or work on, okay, you there is something that's going to happen, okay, so that you have time for this or so that you um, can continue this, okay, because spirit is supporting you, pile one. Spirit is wanting to support you, so just hang in there, okay? I am seeing that, like, the divine is planning for you, okay? And I'm also, I'm already seeing that whatever plan that the divine has for you at this time, it's already taking place. It's just that you're not seeing it, okay? Let's look at the rest of your energy here. We have the star as your underlying. Ooh, yeah, okay <laughs> death as your crowning we have the eight of wands and then we have the hierophant underneath is the magician pile one what the heck okay i'm so loving this pile already just i was already loving the message that was coming through but with everything else this is some big stuff pile one in a very positive way and i have to say already you guys have some of uh, the most beautiful major arcana here you have death you have the wheel of fortune you have the star the magician and the hierophant you guys so you have like five major arcana out here on your spread already mm. yeah pile one like what's going on here okay is that in the background there is a lot of uh, chaos that is being healed so that's why you're feeling so tired that's why you're feeling like you want to give up or i feel like i can't take another step that kind of feeling okay and spirit is wanting to let you know that all of this is changing like they're clearing this up behind the scenes for a lot of you guys you could even maybe be seeing it cleared up in your 3d reality you will you will eventually see this um they're healing all of the chaos in your life okay i'm seeing that they're removing obstacles yeah i am seeing that uh pile one to clear the path for you okay i'm seeing for you guys pile one i'm seeing that the divine is wanting to make your path easier all right and that's what the divine is there to do it's they're they're there to make your life easier pile one and it's a very heavy a heavy message here for you guys because you guys have hierophant as your overall energy okay and i'm seeing the divine very heavily invested in your case pile one whatever it is that you're going through because of course they're not being too specific here it's a it's definitely a very general message okay mm, but they are very heavily invested and 
what I'm seeing coming next, Pile 1, is that after some time, you are going to notice your own abilities. Like, it could be that maybe you're going through certain struggles at this time, okay, Pile 1, so that you notice your own strength, so that you see your own strength, because I am getting that with the magician here. This is very, this is a very beautiful message. It's like, yeah, it's like the divine is wanting you to see truly how powerful you are because you are creating your reality with the help of the divine, you know, by showing them what it is that you want, telling them what it is that you want. This is very beautiful. Um, your crowning energy is even death. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of transformation that's going on, Pile 1. I'm seeing it in like two different cards, okay? There's a lot of transformations that are taking place. And then after that, you're going to see the wheel turn for the better. I'm seeing you, yeah, I'm seeing you guys being able to focus more okay and i'm also seeing the divine sending you constant messages these messages can come through songs they can come through nature they could come through like numbers it could be anything okay however the divine you know gets a hold of you pile one because they do like talk in symbols okay but I'm seeing that they're just letting you know, hey, we're constantly sending you signs so that you can keep going because they are aware that you're tired. That, But there is a message here that you need to keep persevering. You can do this. You have the clarity. You have the wisdom, okay? You might feel like, yeah, I'm seeing here for you guys, you might feel at times like you're a little bit confused or you're not sure what's going on. Um, yeah, your flame is going crazy now. <laughs> like it was burning so slowly and now it's going crazy so um a completely different energy is what i'm seeing come up for you guys in the future pile one and i'm also getting here with the star that if you have been feeling like you're losing hope okay or like you don't know which way to turn or you're just not sure about things like maybe you guys could even be feeling doubtful at times okay your hope is being restored pile one all right heavily and i am seeing it's because they're clearing things in your life that i don't know i'm just getting the message that they're trying to make your path easier okay and this will happen you're not going to be struggling for a very long pile one um if anything it could be that maybe you guys see something within the next um I'm getting the number seven, okay? So anywhere from seven to eight weeks. It, for some of you guys, it could be seven to eight days, okay? Um, please take the timings with the grain of salt pile one. Yeah, seven to eight, and even for some of you guys, seven to eight months, all right? But I am seeing that, yeah. The spirit is asking you to have a little bit of patience. And I'm also seeing here that if you guys do want to plan something, or if you guys have had any ideas of things that you want to create, jot that down. Or yeah, I'm seeing to like maybe write it down. I am seeing for some of you guys to write that down, pile one, maybe to plan. There is a message here about planning. If you guys have had an idea that you want to create something or that you want to do something, thing okay they're saying to go ahead and do that because like once you write it down okay you'll feel um there i don't know i'm just getting a message about writing here so definitely write it down yeah whatever this is this could be a goal this could be something that you want to say this could be for some of you guys it could be a message or something like that for others of you guys it could be something that you're wanting to plan something that you're wanting to create in the future okay but they want you to jot these things down for whatever reason pile one i feel like it might help you okay maybe once you start writing it down you might get more ideas or yeah <laughs> okay yeah but the divine is uh planning things for you as well pile one and whatever ideas that you have okay whatever it is that you want to plan i'm seeing the divine again heavily on your side like they want to create what you want to create yeah and there's also something about maybe even a wish that you guys that you guys have made okay 
yeah if you guys have made some sort of wish or something here i'm seeing here that like your spirit guides want you to have hope okay loves i am seeing that keep going this is this is literally the message that i'm getting here is keep going yes things might seem a little bit chaotic at this time okay especially internally or maybe even in your outside world um pile one but there's actually a lot of things that are falling away okay the path is becoming clearer it's becoming they're making sure that it's becoming easier for you and you're you're going to see like the light at the end of the tunnel yeah, I am seeing that pile. It's so beautiful. Here we even have hearing messages from spirit. And it says, I am a clear channel from four messages from spirit. Very, very beautiful. So yeah, pile one, I am seeing here that you guys like if. Hmm, yeah, spirit is sending you so many messages. Okay, they are letting you know this you have this in two different cards as well. So just, you know, messages to give you hope messages to help you to keep going. They're letting you know as well, like I am seeing for you guys that you guys could be getting a lot of uh, messages that there is a change that's coming in okay and i don't want you guys to be scared pile one this change is good i'm seeing that this change is going to make you very happy okay um the wheel is turning in your favor pile one honestly i'm and again i'm seeing you hopeful i'm seeing you happy i'm seeing you in your power being able to focus more okay I'm just curious yeah look at that we even have the six of wands so you are be becoming victorious in something i don't know what you guys are doing but you're going from you know feeling like you can't keep going anymore to this energy where you feel like you can conquer anything okay uh there's a lot of stuff that you're uh, going to achieve pile one in the future is what i'm getting okay in your life and at this time, you just have to keep taking it step by step. Okay, loves, you're almost there. It's interesting too, because you you are at the nine of wands, okay? It's like, it's only one more step from 10, all right? Yeah, like even here we have nine and then 10. So there is something here, loves. And I'm also getting that for some of you guys, I am also getting that spirit talks through you, okay? Very clearly. So it's like, Yes, you're receiving messages, but also you could also be the one that's actually giving messages to others. So, yeah, loves, this is a very beautiful pile. And just know that whatever it is that the divine has planned, it's going to bring you a lot of hope a lot of clarity, a lot of peace is what I'm seeing, a lot of balance actually too. I'm just seeing so many areas of your life, you feeling good, you feeling in your power, you you feeling relaxed, okay? Um, peaceful, pile one, happy. Yeah, loves. <laughs> so um, I am going to pull you guys an advice card, okay? Just give me one second. Let's see. Uh. Okay, so let's see. Something for my pile one. What message do you want to give pile one? And you guys got, oh, you guys got friends. So it says the most unlikely friendships can form like very variegated lichens on hard rock. They create a tight bond. So I am getting that. Yeah, pile one, if you do have like someone very close to you or maybe it could be multiple people, okay. Um, pile one, I am seeing that to allow them to help you at times okay when you're feeling low when you're feeling like you can't keep going now for others of you guys if you feel like you don't have okay someone i am seeing that the divine is saying that they are going to br be bringing in people that um, are good for you okay that you can count on that you would consider a friend that you would consider like that you can trust all right that's another message that i'm getting for this pile so yeah loves and i definitely see that in your pile just because i keep getting that the divine is so 
heavily invested with you guys pile one okay and with the eight of wands here i just am seeing that they're making sure that they send you constant support whether this is through messages and these messages could also be through friends okay love so yeah just hang in there i'm seeing that you're like honestly i'm seeing you're right around the corner from the wheel turning in your favor pile one so keep going okay and yeah loves i think i'm gonna leave it at that you guys are so amazing private readings are opened and um yeah i'm gonna leave it at that and i will see you guys next time bye Hey, pile two for you guys that chose this little peachy citrine. Let's go ahead and see what is it that spirit wants to say to you today. What message do they have for you? So we have the page of cups. We have the four of cups. We have the five of pentacles. And we have the ace of wands. All right. Let's see what's going on here. We have potential. We have the Empress Fertility and we have Following Your Bliss. Okay, this is such, I'm already getting very beautiful energy from this pile. I love this pile already. <laughs> um, Just give me a second, loves, okay, to look at this. Okay, pile two. So what is it that Spirit is wanting to let you know? All right, so, gosh, another beautiful pile, honestly, is what I'm getting pile to. Um, I love these messages from Spirit. So, I am getting for my pile to that you guys could be, like, for some of you, I'm getting this message where you guys could be feeling like you're losing your sense of fun or something like that, okay? You could be feeling like, you're kind of like missing or losing your zest for life okay for some of you guys i'm seeing that you could be feeling kind of unmotivated at this time okay like yeah i'm also getting the message that this is not really who you guys are as people like you guys are not the type of people that like i'm actually seeing whoever picked my pile too you guys are very young at heart you guys know how, how to have a good time um yeah you have a very beautiful inner child pile too and i would say like it honestly it, it glows on you okay it shows on you i feel like this is also something that maybe people find very attractive about you pile too but it could be that at this time you're just not feeling it like you're not seeing yourself maybe being able to have a good time maybe to have a good laugh or um, even if you do, it's like you could quit you. It's easy for you to maybe go back into this state where you just feel like, uh, like I don't really feel like doing anything or I feel like maybe there's nothing to look forward to or something like that. I keep getting this, this energy. Okay. Where it's just, it's hard to look forward to things or you just might think like there's nothing there for me like there's nothing good out there for me like why even try like i'm getting all sorts of things coming in now okay and what spirit is wanting to let you know is they do see that you're going through this this little um this obstacle i'm going to call it an obstacle because this is what i'm seeing here yeah i'm also seeing that some of you guys could be feeling kind of lonely at this time as well but Spirit is wanting to let you know that you're actually walking towards a new beginning. And yeah, I, I am saying that maybe because of the energy that you're in, you might be feeling like, okay, yeah, I keep hearing that, but I don't see anything or something along those lines. Okay, pile two. 
And, um, and I have to say, Pyle, too, that if you are feeling like that, there is no shame, there is no blame, okay? Be compassionate towards yourself, because to be honest, we've all been there, even me, okay? Um, where it's like, okay, yeah, I keep hearing that, but I'm not seeing anything. Like, what is going on, okay? Now, it is very apparent that you are walking towards a new beginning, Pyle, too, okay? It's, it is going to be like um, a start though, like whatever this new beginning is that you're walking towards, you're going to maybe even see it in stages is what I'm getting, okay? Like you'll get bits and pieces to it little by little for whatever reason. I'm seeing that maybe the divine is doing this for a reason where they're not just giving all of it to you straight away. Um, let's look at the rest of your energy because I'm actually very, okay, yeah very interested we have the six of uh the the six of wands okay as your underlying energy the eight of swords all right yeah ten oh gosh ten of swords all right and we have the hierophant underneath is the moonlight yeah the moon okay just give me a second loves to look at this Okay, pile two. Yeah, it's no wonder why you're feeling so, like, stuck at times. I'm seeing someone stuck. Like, you're feeling stuck. You're, you may even be feeling trapped, okay? Um, some of you guys could be going through maybe some financial issues. Some of you guys, okay? I'm, I'm getting that message as well. But you might even be feeling confused at this time. Like, you don't know what to do. You're feeling trapped, you're feeling scared as well. I'm seeing a lot of fear in this pile, okay, pile two. However, I'm actually getting here that um, spirit is looking out at, like over whatever it is that you're going through, pile two, okay? I'm actually even seeing here that like you are a child in their eyes, okay? You're still learning how to navigate your path, okay? Maybe some of you guys are still figuring out what it is that you want to create in life, okay? And what spirit is letting you know is that your potential is like out of this world. You have so much potential pile too. Like it's beyond me, honestly, what I'm seeing here, the potential that you have. Whoever picked this pile, like I'm seeing that you guys honestly can have it all, okay? And this is what spirit is wanting to let you know. You are capable of doing this. Yes, um... And I am seeing that behind the scenes, it could even be that your higher self has chosen to go through, I don't know, I'm actually kind of getting that maybe your higher self may have just graduated to the next level or something, okay? <laughs> and this is why a new beginning is going to be created. Now, you guys may not be seeing it in your reality at this time. However, it will come into reality, okay? I am seeing that. Like, the divine is proud of you because your higher self has chosen something very special. And at this time, like I said, it's at the baby stages. Like, you're at the baby stages of it. And I'm seeing here that, yeah, with the Ten of Wands, uh, or sorry, Ten of Swords, I am getting that, like, you guys are feeling done for. Like, you're done. Like, some of you guys could even be thinking, like, I'm getting older, like, I need to do something about this, or I need to do something with my life. I don't know, I'm just getting that message here for someone as well. Um, pile two, okay, but at this time, like, Spirit is just wanting to let you know that they're watching over everything, and they're sending you a lot of wisdom, okay? Yeah, and there's definitely going to be a new beginning. I'm even seeing you guys feeling more motivated here as well, okay? You're the one that's actually going to be creating your own, your new beginning, and I don't think you're even going to be realizing it. Now, even here with the moon here, I am getting that you guys are, maybe could be reflecting a lot, okay? Um, and I'm also getting that you guys are going through a lot of fears at this time, but pile two, please just know that they're just fears. Like this is a message from the divine letting you know that you are just going through illusions when you're having these fears. Maybe for some of you guys, you guys could even be getting some intrusive thoughts. Um, yeah, intrusive thoughts here and there. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm getting. Now, coming here to your oracle, 
Spirit is letting you know, okay, that you have the power to create. Now, I am seeing that uh, for a lot of you guys, there is something within you that is being healed, okay? Whether this is, for some of you guys, it could be your solar plexus chakra, okay, that's being cleansed, healed. Um, yeah, I am getting that. For others of you guys, it could be your sacral as well as what I'm picking up. But, and also a lot of heart chakra activations is happening in this pile. So don't, you know, be afraid if you do feel emotions here and there, like up and down, okay? Um, this is happening for a reason. And I'm seeing here with the fertility is you guys are going to, and you know, whatever, whatever gender you are, it doesn't matter. I'm seeing here that you guys are going to be able to create again, feeling like you can create again. Okay. Cause this is all about creating. That's what, um, the divine feminine does. She creates. And I am getting that again, regardless of your gender pile too you are going to be tuning into more of your divine feminine energy and this is going to be helping you to create okay what it is that you want in your life you are going to be creating your new beginning and it's not just going to be you okay it's like once you get back up again i'm seeing the divine assist you with this they're already assisting you pile two okay it's just that you may not be feeling it at this time okay um, but they are, they are. I'm even getting that, like pile two, yeah, I am, I'm even getting here that it could be that you're going through certain things in your life right now, like through this period of feeling unmotivated, of feeling confused, of feeling lonely, or whatever the case may be, pile two, because I'm seeing a lot here, so that you learn certain lessons here, okay? Um, and you guys are going to be standing up very tall after this yeah yeah like yeah underneath here we have the five of wands mm -hmm. a lot of these okay um definitely getting a clear picture now pile two i will say a lot of the obstacles that you guys have are all in your head this is this is kind of like a block or a problem okay this is actually the problem for a lot of you guys is there's a lot of mental conflict maybe okay inner conflict maybe your head like it tells you one thing okay and this makes you like maybe not go for what it is that you want or it maybe makes you overthink things is what I'm getting and this is something that you will overcome pile two I'm not sure how the divine is going to make you overcome this but this is that happening the divine is helping you to do this um yeah, this is so beautiful. And then here we have following your bliss and it says, my soul sings with joy. So pile two, what I'm getting here, okay, uh, like also what the divine is saying is that you are going to conquer this, okay? You are going to do this. This is why you're going through these obstacles at this time. And once you do this, okay, you're going to be following your heart. It's very clear here. Whatever it is that your heart is calling you to do, whatever it is that your heart is pulling you towards, that is what you're going to follow. And you're going to see so many things, like so many things unfold once you do this pile too. Okay, and this is all going to happen just uh, like they're not even saying how like they're just saying that this is what's going to happen okay you're not always going to be feeling in this low energy okay in this down energy it's not always going to be like this pile two there is a new beginning that's being created um yeah like you're meant okay like with this potential card like they see so much potential within you and this is why they're helping you okay yeah, pile two. This is intense stuff. Yeah, even my head hurts. Oh, this is beautiful. You have the Empress twice, you guys. This is the Empress in this card too. So, and the Empress here, like this is the universe holding you again. You're their baby. So they're guiding you every step of the way, pile two. Okay, every step. You guys may not be seeing it, but there's a huge message here that they're, I don't know, they're showing you how to follow your heart and it could be that maybe you have to go through certain mental conflicts certain 
inner conflicts, okay, to learn how to overcome that so that you learn how to listen to your heart. It's it's a lesson is what I'm seeing, but you are going to be able to do this and you're going to, yeah, you're going to be like following your bliss at the end of it, okay? And you're going to be very happy is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> so yeah, loves, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. I am going to get you guys an advice card oh it could be that like you're yeah i'm just seeing that your thoughts are maybe what block you from going for what it is that you want whether it's a certain job or a certain career or um a certain move or like whatever it is pile two okay you allow that like this is what i'm seeing from the reading okay you allow that to get in the way of you actually choosing what you know is going to make you happy and the divine is like uh-uh we can't let that happen you can't keep doing that <laughs> you have to follow your heart okay so just allow it to clear pile two there's actually nothing that you have to do here the divine is making it all work out so that you get kind of over over these inner conflicts, these mental conflicts, this confusion even. And I will say, loves, just be gentle with yourselves as well. Don't force yourself to get out of this. This is going to happen like very naturally is what I'm seeing. So yeah, loves, I'm seeing beautiful things for you. And with the six of wands, this is all about achieving something, okay? So you are going to make it like this little egg like he's hatching this little dragon has just hatched right he's broken free so <laughs> there's and like all his spirit guys are so happy for him so i feel like once you do this there's going to be a huge uh celebration here and the card that you guys got was growth it says the tallest oak tree once started as a seedling don't be afraid to start something new so that's the thing loves yeah you are growing okay some of you guys there could be some comparing being done here as well don't do that okay i mean it's easier said than done if it does happen just allow it to come through your headspace okay but then maybe just let it go because um everyone grows at their own timing okay yeah yeah loves everyone grows and everyone deserves the time to grow so just remind yourself of that too you deserve your own time to grow at your own rate okay loves um yeah and it says don't be afraid to start something new so again it could be that you're wanting to go towards something maybe that's out of your comfort zone or maybe um doing something okay that's out of this comfort zone whatever it is pile two if you're being called towards it then just do it okay yeah the divine sees your efforts all right loves so this is what i'm getting there's a lot of growth that's happening like with the potential growth and like the fertility all of this this is going to take you to where what makes you uh what makes you truly the happiest pile two so yeah, loves, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, you guys are amazing, so amazing. Private readings are opened. I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile three, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, pile three for you guys that chose the tiger's eye. Let's go ahead and see what is it that spirit is wanting to let you guys know at this time. All the messages so far have been so beautiful. We have the hermit. We have the emperor. We have the nine of swords and we have the queen of pentacles. Okay. We have miracles. Oh. We have starting fresh and we have the universe, which is the world. And let me just get the bottom of the deck here and just give me a second. Let's, I'm already loving your cards as well. Just give me the, a second to look at this.
okay, pile three. So I am seeing here that at this time, okay, it could be that you guys are, are going through like a little bit of like an isolation period, okay? You could be feeling like you want to be by yourself at times, okay? Or maybe this is something that calms you down. I am saying that the divine is heavenly, like heavily guiding you, okay? Um, when you do have your alone time with the divine. That's a big message here, actually. Pile three, like if some of you guys, however it is that you go into this hermit mode, whether it's through med meditation or just kind of being by yourself, okay? I am seeing the divine saying, like, they're always with you when you do that, okay? So don't ever doubt that. Now, gosh, you're, <laughs> there's so many things that are coming through for you guys, pile three. Um, I am seeing two specific uh, spirit guides come through for you as well, okay? One being feminine and one being mas masculine. So, and they're watching over you like a hawk, pile three, okay? Like, there is nothing that you need to worry about. I'm actually seeing whoever your masculine spirit guide is, pile three, there is a plan that this spirit guide has initiated, okay? And it's like he's very certain, like, he's wanting to let you know that this is going to happen no matter what. And it's at a very serious level. Like, he does not want you to doubt. He doesn't want you to, you know, think something bad is going to happen, pile three. Because I'm just getting, like, yeah, this spirit guide is very serious about it, loves. Very, very serious. I'm even getting here with the Queen of Pentacles that, like, I'm getting, yeah. Um, With this feminine spirit guide, I'm getting this could be a relative or this could be, I'm honestly getting, like, divine mom vibes, okay? It could be divine mom herself for some of you guys, but this could just be, like, an older woman spirit guide is what I'm seeing. I'm getting a very specific message here for some reason for some of you guys and I am getting here that if you do have low days or if you guys have been feeling like you've been having like low days or anxiety or feeling like I don't know what's gonna happen you're feeling nervous okay maybe it's hard for your intuition to come through at times because you're feeling this way okay again these two spirit guides are letting you know uh-uh-uh like it doesn't matter if you do feel like this, okay? There is something very beautiful that's planned for you that is going to happen. Like, they just keep saying that. Uh, pile three. I don't know why it's coming out so serious. Let's look at the rest of your energy. We have the five of swords. We have the two of wands. We have the seven of swords. Yeah, spirit is being sneaky. <laughs> We have the chariot, and then we have strength. This is so beautiful. Okay. Yeah, pile three. I am getting that, like, the world is in your hands. Okay, seriously. Like, and I feel like there is something within you where you already know that you have, like, this beautiful power okay, where it's like you've made a choice. I don't know, pile three, I am getting this message where maybe you've made a certain choice, okay, you've made a certain decision, and at times you could be doubting that decision, like you could be thinking at times, like, did I make the right one? Um, am I on the right path? Am I going the right way? Am I being guided the right way? Okay, loves, and I am seeing here that the divine is saying, like, look, you don't need to be asking yourself those questions. You don't need to do that, okay? If anything, honestly, there's a message here that if you are doing that, um, you're kind of just hurting yourself. Like, this is just hurting you more because your spirit guides here are saying like look there's a very beautiful plan planned for you they've heard you allow them to to come through with it okay allow it to unfold and yeah pile three i'm also gonna say just be compassionate with yourself as well i think i've been saying that in every pile today that if you do go through this doubt if you do go through this questioning like did i make the right decision did i do the right thing am i on the right path am i going the right way oh my goodness like all these things okay um, be compassionate with yourself. Like, it's okay to get into that energy. That happens, okay? So don't feel 
bad for thinking that way. Don't feel bad for doubting at times. Maybe for not believing and not trusting at times. That happens. You will get back up again. Okay, pile three. And it's very um, apparent here as well because underneath you have the strength card. And mm, this is so beautiful. We have the lion licking her hand, right? And gosh, <laughs> there's like a tornado behind her. She's not even worried, you know, because she knows that she's very connected to the divine. Um, pile three. This is so beautiful. Yeah. So uh, like the divine is almost just giving you a message to like, look, when you do get into this feeling of worrying or of, um, thinking that you're not on the right path or you're not sure if you've made the right decision or you're thinking that something bad is going to happen, okay? Or you're just feeling worried, okay? They're just reminding you to to think about them. Like, this is the advice already that I'm getting that they're wanting you to think about the, like, the universe, okay? Or whoever your spirit guides are, they're wanting you to think in them specifically because this is what's going to make you feel calm again. Because I'm seeing, like... Uh, at times you guys do feel very calm, but then at times you feel very worried <laughs> and, and it can like maybe jump back and forth. Okay. But one thing's for certain pile three is that your spirit guides are not playing around They're They know what they have planned for you. And I don't sense that they want to tell you everything with the seven of swords here, love. So look at like, look at your Oracle. This is like my favorite part. <laughs> of your reading because we have miracles which i think speaks for itself it's like the divine is saying you will see miracles like regardless if you jump back and forth from feeling good to feeling anxious to feeling worried to feeling good again you know you are going to see some sort of miracle and that's that <laughs> and with the world card like i am seeing again the universe has your back loves like they're watching over everything and look at this um, in the middle, we have starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. And whatever this new beginning is, pile three, it'll be different for all of you guys. But they're wanting to let you know that everything's going to be okay. Things are balancing out. In this beautiful starting fresh car card, we see the yin and yang symbol. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, I am seeing love being balanced out in your life. Okay. Um, Lear Love Life, I'm also getting that your masculine and feminine energies are balancing out within yourselves, okay? And I'm also seeing that whatever this fresh start, this could be happening during a season change, a seasonal change, like right now for me. Well, if you guys are watching this when it releases, it's summer at this time. So it could be happening when it goes from summer to winter or something like that or summer to fall. Okay, loves, um, is what I'm getting. Yeah, like a significant change is happening, Pile pile three. This is very beautiful. Um, that's just a message for some of you guys. All right. But there is something that's already like, I'm just going to say it pile three. Like there is something that's already for certain. That's what keeps coming up. Okay. Like that your spirit guides have already made this decision. You are going to see a miracle. You're going to see a brand new beginning and this is going to be beautiful. And like, yeah, <laughs> that's all that they're saying, Bio 3. Other than that, they're not saying too much more. So, again, like the advice, and I am going to get you guys a little bit of an advice card here, but they're just saying, you know, to continue to have like those moments within yourself, with yourself and them. Okay, continue tapping into them. All right. And just think about them because this is going to give you a lot of courage. And they're wanting you to be courageous at this time. Uh, as best as you can, okay? Because I am seeing that at times, yeah, you guys do get into this worried energy, anxiety even, okay? But everything's all good. Everything's good. <laughs> I'm seeing that some of you guys are going into this energy because there's like this unknown, okay? Or you, you're not seeing everything in front of your eyes. Um, but pile three, there's nothing bad nothing at all i'm actually seeing you guys like after this new beginning happens or after you see whatever this miracle is 
I'm seeing you guys rise above as like unstoppable, honestly. Like I'm seeing someone here saying like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> um, this is so beautiful. <laughs> Let's see, a message for my pile three. A message for my pile three. Ooh, oh, sorry, it flipped over. So we have let go, enjoy the pulsing light of the firefly but don't hold on too tight okay loves so yeah loves i am seeing at this time okay to let go okay like especially if you guys are going through some sort of anxiety okay or you just keep worrying about something the best thing to do right now is to let go okay allow them like just i guess the only thing that will bring you comfort at this time what they're saying is to believe in them to trust in them to do your best okay to know that they have this handled all right do your best to let go at this time because this is what's going to make you feel more at ease and just saying like okay you know what this is in the hand in the hands of the divine i am just gonna let it go to them they have this handled everything's fine everything's good i'm gonna see miracles i'm gonna see miracles unfold let me just wait and see okay that's the energy that i'm getting loves i am this is so beautiful um yeah and then bottom of the deck we have forbearance do not be deterred by the thorn and menace the roses so yeah pile three i could i am seeing that you guys could be going through some obstacles okay or there could be at times like you could see like or you could be like, let's say you have, like, one bad day or you you experience one bad thing in your day or something like that. Don't allow that to ruin the rest of your day, okay? Don't allow that to ruin the rest of your experience or don't la let that um, kind of shut down your hope, okay, for everything that you're, that you're wanting in life, okay? Just because you see one little thing maybe not go your way, okay? Um, or maybe at this time, it could be that you're not seeing things go your way. All right, loves, but don't let that deter you. Okay. Everything is going according to plan. And I am seeing you guys like, I don't know, something very beautiful is coming up. No matter how it is that you're feeling, they're going to give you this because they want to. Um, you're very protected pile three. <laughs> So yeah, loves, I think I'm going to leave it at that. You guys are super duper amazing. Thank you so much for everything. Um, private readings are open and I'm going to leave it at that, loves. I will see you guys next time. Bye.